Hi, I'm Gilly from the Kitty Myers Company, and I'd like to read you a story today. I know I know I'm reading it next to the sun because because there's not enough space to stand on it. So, uh, uh, um, all right. So we'd like to read you a story today. It's called Emily's Tiger, written and illustrated by Miriam Latimer. Are you ready? Let's get started. Are you ready? Let's get started. Um, here. All right. All right. And right here is the right here is a tiger with its open jaw. Okay. Okay. I don't want my hair cut. Uh, Emily pouted. Emily, please sit down, Mom sighed. No, Emily growled and uh, growled and then she gave her loudest tiger roar. Not again, Mom groaned. Come here, you rascal. Emily bounded around the room and bounced out of the window. Oh, Emily, Mom sighed again. What are we going to do with you? Later at Evie's party, the clown announced, I need an assistant. Me, squealed Emma. I chose Evie, the birthday girl, said the clown. But I want to be the helper, growled Emily. The clown shook his head. Emily stamped her foot and gave a huge roar. Soon, Evie's party was in chaos. Was in chaos. Oh, Emily, sighed Dad when he came to take her home. What are we going to do with you? At dinner time, Dad tried to persuade Emily to eat some carrots. I don't like carrots, Emily snapped, and swishing her long curly tail, she swiped her plate right up into the air. Oh, Emily, groaned Mom. Just then, the doorbell rang. Let's turn the page. Hello, I'm here, sang Granny as she pranced through the door. Golly gumdrops, it looks like a zoo in here. What's been going on? I, uh, I got upset, Granny. I don't like carrots. Emily hung her head. Oh, Emily, smiled Granny. What are we going to do with you? I know. Let's go upstairs. I want to share a secret with you, whispered Granny. She turned away and whispered when she looked Granny and gave a loud tiger roar. Eek, Emily jumped back in surprise. No need to be scared, Pumpkin, Granny assured her. I only turn into a tiger when I want to. That way I can turn myself into a happy tiger instead of an angry one. And happy tigers have much more fun. That night, Emily, <laughs> Emily dreamt about being a tiger with Granny. Together, they leapt all the way along the roofs of the cars that were parked on Emily Street. All right, let's turn the page. Oh. Higher, higher, asked Granny. Emily nodded, and they leapt all the way along, uh, along the roofs of the houses. Higher, asked Granny. Emily nodded, and Granny leapt right out for the moon. Emily didn't, Emily didn't dare follow, follow her there. How did you do that? she asked. You'll learn, Granny smiled. <sighs> okay, have you brushed your teeth yet? Mom asked Emily in the morning. I hate brushing my teeth, said Emily. I love brushing mine, whispered Granny. Emily decided to brush her teeth to shine just like Granny's. Right now it's time to turn the page. After school, Granny and Emily went to the park. Emily spotted Dylan Jones making a fort. Can I help? asked Emily. But as she peeped inside Dylan's den, he, he climbed onto her bike and began riding it around the park. Hey, give it back, shouted Emily. And she crunched down ready to bounce her and she glips over at Granny and her big paws wrapped around a book. She looked very relaxed. Alright, now let's turn the page. Emily decided to relax just like Granny. Yippee, Dylan whooped and pedaled her. And Emily ignored him. Dylan tried riding with no hands. He lost his balance and fell off. 
Wah, he yelled. Emily helped Dylan pick himself up. Are you okay, she asked. Granny grinned and gave Emily a big thumbs up. Okay. At dinner time, Emily ate all of her carrots just like Granny. She helped Dad wash up and she brushed her teeth without even the slightest growl. Later on, there was a rat-a-tat-tat on Emily's bedroom door. Psst, whispered Granny. Follow me, and they crept outside. Now for the fun part, said Granny. Come on, Emily, she called as she fearlessly heard the backyard fence. She showed Emily how to soar over hedges, scale walls, and climb trees. Angry tiger or uh, angry t No, happy tiger or angry tiger, asked Granny. Happy tiger, cried Emily, and she jumped right over the moon, and they lived happily ever after. The end. Yay. Okay, Mom, you can hold it now, but don't stop it yet. Alright guys, so that's going to be it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the bell next to the subscribe button if you want to get notified every time we upload a new video. We'll see you next time on Kitty Meyer's channel. Goodbye!